Hey everyone, we're doing the two-tone demo, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, so first we're going to start by opening a new project, and I'm going to title it Ms. McHellman Photoshop Self-Portrait number two. Yours obviously won't have a two, and then you have your eight and a half by eleven inch canvas, just like we've been doing. And make sure it's in inches and portrait orientation. And then everything else looks good and 300 pixels per inch. And we're going to say create. All right. So once again, I have messed up my loom. So this first part is just me positioning my background image. I copied and pasted it in there. Going a little quicker on this because it is the second demo. I kind of like that orientation. Um, I'm looking from left to right. It kind of moves the eye along. Uh, and I kind of skipped a step. So now I'm going back to select my, just my body, my portrait. I don't need that background. I'm using the pen tool. Just clicking around. And I'm getting around my hair as best as I can. This image is also already black and white, so I don't really have to mess with that. Getting around my choppy hair. This photo was from a couple years ago. Just going around. The more points you put down when you're using the pen tool, the better accuracy you're going to get. And remember, you can always click back a step to undo. And then make sure you connect to your first point. Do not hit enter, just right click. And I'm doing make selection. And then I'm clicking down to that other icon that is off the screen, but that will filter it just so it's my selection of myself. And then I'm gonna add a solid color layer and make it white for my background. And then I wanna make sure I drag that, I'm gonna label it background, and then drag it so it is below my portrait layer. And I'm also gonna label my portrait layer. I recommend labeling your layers, it'll just keep you a little bit more organized, but you don't have to. All right, and now I'm making a new layer, and I'm it's a threshold layer. So that's going to take my image down to very high contrast, and you can adjust the levels as much as you want. I don't really want to have such dark shadows, so I'm kind of taking it down. You can kind of play around with this and see what you like. Um, I want that nice crisp jawline, so I'm taking it way down to there. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. You can adjust it to your preference. Kind of looks like a movie poster. This is maybe a fun way to do it if you don't really want to have it be really focused on your facial features. It takes it more down to the graphic effect. All right, and now is where I kind of messed up. My Loom video didn't work quite right, so I'm gonna work backwards and show you the steps I took after that threshold layer. So I added a gradient map, the same way that we did in our other project, and I chose my colors. And because it was black and white, the colors that you choose are going to be the two colors that appear. And remember, that should tie into your personality test and work well together. And then I added in my rocks layer by copying and pasting that image in. And I used the screen filter 
for that. Just like in our other demo for the double exposure. And then I added a clipping mask so it was only affecting the rocks layer to make that black and white because I don't want the color of that photo to come through. And then I added another clipping mask layer to edit the levels. So this is pretty similar to the double exposure now, um, but I just started off with a different type of image. And I put the green filter on. Because if you, I'll click through. If I did one of the high contrast filters, it kind of takes away all of my other detail and I don't want that. So the green filter allows those layers to interact a little bit better. And then you can see when I turned on the, that levels, I really adjusted that. I kind of took the highlight in and I moved the midtones up. You just have to play around with it to get it to a place that you like. I wanted my the, the purple, the darker value to still show up. You can see what happens as I'm adjusting it. Um, so it's really your preference. I didn't want the rock background to kind of overpower the self-portrait aspect of it. And then I added text. So I just clicked that text icon and I picked a color using the eyedropper from my composition already. And I picked a midtone so it would show up against the lights and the darks and obviously against the purple. And then for my second word, I cho chose a lighter tone um, just because that made more sense for the area and kind of tied in that lighter highlight in the bottom left corner. And it looks a little bit like a book cover. And there I kind of went back and you can adjust the levels even more. See how my name kind of disappears? I want that to be visible, but not necessarily the first thing you see. And that is my second Photoshop self-portrait. And I was pretty happy with how that turned out. It's a very different style than the first one. Um, a little bit more graphic than the double exposure. But try some things out and see what you like better.